Hello YouTube, Bowtie Media here. Today we've got another installment of This Week in EDM. We go over songs that came out this week in EDM. Simple as that. As always, there's a Spotify link below if you want to find the song super quick and early. Make sure to sort by recently added. But let's hop into it. Um, 21 songs this week, no trash. Nothing trash, just bad. So let's hop into bad. The first song is Believer by Gammer. Uh, it is, yeah, just guess what this would be. The song's called Believer. It's by Gammer. Um, there's a popular song by Imagine Dragons called Believer. Um, yeah, this is just a hard style cover of the original by Imagine Dragons. So <laughs> I feel like I, he kind of ruined an already not loved song with this this cover. And so I just not, not a fan. So uh, they've got Lucky Ones by Yatep and Sabai featuring Leslie Powell. Uh, knowing both producers here, this was kind of exactly what I expected this to be. It's a melodic bass track with the most basic structure and vocal chops imaginable. And that's that. Then we get into uh, Drive by Mazare and Heart of Gold. Uh, honestly, really boring track from Mazare here. One of the most simple, like, phoned-in DNB tracks I've heard in a long time. There was really nothing going on. It got to a point where I even second-guessed. I was like, is someone, like, is this not actually Mazare? Is this, is this someone pretending to be Mazare? It was like, you know, Spotify does that sometimes. I was just, I didn't, it was not great. Uh, then we've got Never Be the Same by Nitro Fun and Paige Douche. Uh, I think Duche, <laughs> uh, kind of a drag in production, sadly, here from uh, Nitro Fun. Not much happening. The synths felt weak and the vocals didn't provide a ton of support. And overall, I thought the song was just, yeah, just a drag, is, I think is the best way to put it. And then we've got the meh category songs, I think, are, are just meh. We've got Nirvana, the Tasaki remix, which is by Candyland. Um, I know it's a remix and they're supposed to sound different, but I think this ruined what I originally liked about the original track. Uh, it feels so much more empty. And yeah, it just felt like a weird, weird style to take this track that was so very full and lush and kind of make it really minimal and empty. It was it was too weird for me. Um, that being said, it's not horrible as a standalone track, so that's why it's just meh. Then we've got Amsterdam, uh, the deep in or deep inside by Lewis the Child. The Black Marble LP is out, and it's a this is very it's a very linear tech house kind of style track. Not a ton going onto it, very short, and I assume a lot of the album is like that. It's kind of a weird drop out of nowhere. All the songs are really short. So, uh, and then we've got Worst Day, the Fight Club and Tanner Guard remix, originally by Elenium and Max. Um, this is better than the original. To be fair, I, I thought the original was, was quite bad, uh, Worst Day, uh, but it's a fairly uninteresting house remix, and that's really it. It's got your, this is your classic DJ kind of house song. You've got the 45 seconds or 40 second intro and outro at the back end. There's not much other than just the beat kind of added to the vocals, and so that's just that. And then we've got Elevate by Drinks On Me. The Compliance LP is out, the debut album from Drinks On Me. Pretty short, 24 minutes long, but um, this is a definitely a unique track, I would say. A little too bizarre for me. It's got this pseudo-nostalgic kind of synth hits to it, and I was, I'm was i really unsure. I, I feel like the song is unsure what it wants to be, I think, more so than anything. I just It felt like it was trying to be one thing and then go a different way, but it sounded weird, and I don't know. It just didn't really work, but I, I kind of like it. It's kind of why it's right in the middle here. Now we've got The Reckoning by Murata. Uh, my wife was listening to this with me, uh, <laughs> and she said it sounded like uh, Stranger Things. It sounded like uh, you, something you would listen to when you go and fight demigorgons. So take that as you will. Uh, <laughs> other than that, uh, it's a very unkiltered beat with a constant dirty rumble to it. Um, not normally my style, but this, uh, this one felt just, I think, a little too strange for me. Um, I mean, I've heard Stranger Things before, though. Uh, then we've got, uh, Bring Me Back by Chime. Uh, <laughs> as Chime said, this is truly a mix of an old school dubstep sound with the modern color base ideas as well. That being said, it didn't feel like it really meshed together too well. I really like the color base portions, but really did not like the old school dubstep sounds. So I just felt like the song was uh, fighting for my attention for the most part. They've got, uh, You Know What I Need by Pinau and Troy Sivan. A uh, shockingly calm track from Pinau here. Uh, definitely aiming for that commercial success with this one uh, and trying to hit the mainstream radio plays for sure. Uh, but I mean, in the end, the song sounds like what it's trying to do. It's simple, it's singable, and it's repetitive. So... Oh, that being said, it's not too bad. They've got Submarine by Graphics and Floidus. Uh, classic D&B from Graphics here, but uh, not as strong as I think anything on the Half-Life LP that came out earlier this year. Uh, the synth was a little off-putting at first, but I think I got on board pretty quickly with it after. 
Uh, and then we're moving into the good category. We've got Around You by Eminence and Weston and Teston. I'm surprised how much I like this one. Uh, it was pretty much the definition of a mindless kind of cruising track. Uh, when Slap House is made more minimalistically like this, where that kind of Slap House sound is in the kind of back, more subdued part of the track in the mixing, I think it's at its finest. So this is probably one of my better like kind of Slap House style tracks I've, I've liked. So. Then moving into Good With It by Ramesses B and Sounder, uh, NCS track here from Ramesses B, uh, and he's been on a roll as of like putting tons and tons and tons of music out in 2022, uh, but this this might possibly be one of the best ones from 2022, I, I have to say. It's smooth production, punchy hits uh, with a back end, and just, oh, great vocals, so big, big fan from that. Then we've got Oh My by OK, pronounced Ye, and Task of Black featuring Luma. Uh, carefree feature-based track here that's unique enough to be added to my playlist that I really like and something for me to listen to, but also uh, kind of palatable enough that it would be something you would hear in a kind of like mall setting or something like that. You'd hear it at like a, your local superstore or something like that. But uh, yeah, it's, it's one of OK's better tracks, I think, as of late for sure, so... Now we've got uh, Can We Be Free, the K Drew remix, originally by Kiro. Uh, solid remix of a song I thought was uh, fairly mid to begin with. The original I thought was was okay. Uh, but it really ramps up the energy here and transforms it into a totally different style that works just as well as the original did, if not better than the original. This is the great example of this K Drew remix is taking the original song and making it better, where the Tasaki one took the original and, and made it worse. This is like the you're doing the opposites here with these two tracks. Then we've got Renegade by R.L. Grime and Nero, or Nero. Uh, well, not exactly commercial sound per se. Uh, this is shockingly one of the most easy listen tracks from both, I would say, R.L. Grime and Nero. Something that I would, I feel like I could hear in a public setting. Uh, well, most artists, or most, both of these artists produce stuff that really you wouldn't hear normally. Um, Nero is baking a bit of a return here uh, with more consistent and well-produced track that we haven't heard in so long. And so I'm, I'm happy to hear some more Nero stuff just in, in general. Uh, although I'm ready for some more. I'm ready for it to go crazy. But uh, then we've got Faster Now by Cloud Nun featuring Matt Van, an upbeat, tr upbeat track with a more prominent synth lines that I think I've heard in Cloud Nun in a long time, maybe even just this year, a very, very pronounced synth line. Uh, Matt Van's vocals are great as always, and it's just a, just a rich track, so big fan. Then we've got uh, Astatine. Astatine, I think, by Matt Zoe. A bubbly production here with the length and quality we've come to know from Matt Zoe. A dynamic track that keeps you really engaged the whole time and is a prime example of why I think the not as popular, like the not popular stuff is always better. The kind of underground sound is always better. And our penultimate track of the week is It Girl by Kahlo, uh, Karma Fields, and Associano. If I don't know how to say those exactly, but uh, very vocal forward track here, especially with Kalo or Kalo being the main producer here. Uh, a little very, or quite minimalistic, I would say, with a very glassy synth. Uh, new style from Karma Fields, and obviously there's a lot of influence here from the two other artists, but I think it worked really, really well, and I, I, was, <laughs> I was glad to hear something like this, especially more pop-oriented one from Karma Fields. I think when Karma Fields goes for something a little bit more poppy, it works really, really well, I think. So um, I also love his other stuff too, but I think that works just as well. So uh, then we got the final track of the week. The best track is a standout, a track that I think is a standout track for sure. Uh, when You and Me Dance by Grabbits. Uh, it's an alternate or alternative dance kind of genre of song. Um, big, rough, dirty energy from Grabbits here, continuing his dominance uh, since his Time Isn't Real EP that dropped earlier this year. Uh, one of my favorite albums of the year, I think for sure. I think it's my number three album of the year right now. Um, go listen to the album if you haven't. Time Isn't Real is amazing. But this song is also phenomenal. He had Pretty Melody came out and then this one as well. Uh, Grabbits has just absolutely been slaughtering 2022 with his alternative dance sounds. And whew, whew, so good. So go give that a listen for sure. But uh, that has been This Week in EDM. Let me know what you think in any of all any and all of these songs in the comment section below. I'd love to hear any of your thoughts here. But other than that, I'm Bowtie Media, and I will see you guys in another video.